Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, it's Rackers here and this is episode number two of the Minnesota United Career Mode. Hope you're doing well, hope you're having a lovely day. We're getting in episode two, we're going to be facing off against the New England Revolution first. We're going to make two changes, we're bringing in Heath and Lampson to the starting lineup. Just trying something a little bit different. Molina wasn't that good in the last game, so we're going to try with a normal sentiment in that cam roll. Try and defend from the attack, give some Ramirez some help. I'm expecting a big game out of Nicholson because he was our star last time out. And just after I changed the lineup, the day after, Molino's coming on saying, I've been playing well, I want to be playing. Well, I didn't think you played very well, and I'm the manager, so get back in your place, sit on the bench, and wait for your opportunity. If I met you in real life, I'd be really nice to you, but, you know, keyboard warrior, blah! Two away games to start the season. We played Portland, now we're travelling to New England. Let's see what this game's got in store for us. New England versus Minnesota, and this is the New England lineup. Let's have a look. Farrell's a good defender. Cordwell, Fagundes, Nugent, yeah, they've got a good team. Yeah, Nugurian in that top of the attacking midfield role. He's going to be dangerous, going to have to keep him quiet. We're going to have tr Nicholson's going to have a right battle against Farrell on that our left-hand side. Just hopefully not... I was about to say, let's hope we don't let leave him too much space at the back. Nugurian, Boxall commits the free kick. Commits the foul, gives away the free kick on the edge of the box. This is going to be dangerous. Nugurian's a dead ball specialist. Can we just defend this? Oh, that's a terrible ball. Thiessen gives it to Calvo, and we get lucky there, and Heath can bring it clear. Thiessen, Nicholson, gets the space. Cuts inside onto his favourite rise. Heath, just hold the ball up. Can we get it to the back post? Heath shoots! I, well, I didn't want to shoot, really. I wanted to pass it, but I pressed the wrong button. Heath steps it up to Ramirez. Can we get it down to Nicholson? Great ball! Nicholson, shoot! He took him a while to actually get the shot off. But I pressed the shoot button like when he was on the penalty spot. And we've got the opening goal again. It's a great finish from Nicholson. And a lovely ball has passed through from Ramirez. Into Nicholson's feet. Nicholson tries to play intricate little pass. And that is half time. Yes. Okay, we've kept the clean sheet to half time. That's a good thing. But unlike the Portland game, we're going to keep a clean sheet in the second half as well. No shots for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. They look sharper on the ball. Cordwell. Oh, Femi, too much room. Luckily, he missed. That's their first shot on goal. And Femi should have equalised. Didn't work in the first half. Ibarra. Have we got someone at three at the back post? Well, we have. Calvo with the head hit in. But he's been given the loss offside. Cronin slides it to Harrison. Holds off his man. Ramirez, first time touch! Oops, I've hit the microphone, I'm sorry. But Ramirez, that's a great ball from Harrison. And we're 2-0 up. A great finish from Ramirez. 2-2 two two for that man. And it's also 2-2 two two for Nicholson, I forgot as well. Out to Nicholson. Oh, off Farrell to Ramirez. Nicholson. Nicholson's in again. Can he get his second of the game? Oh, he does! In off Knighton's forearm. In off the post, but that's 3-0, and Nicholson's got three now this season in two games. He's playing well, the left mid. Playing very well. Molino. Can he get in? Oh, I dropped him from the starting lineup, but he says, Look, I asked you to play. You shot me down. This is what I can do. Fair enough, New England are dead and buried already. But that makes it four. Molino once back in the starting lineup. Got numbers in this attack, and it looks Farrell. Can box all. Get it out. It's dropped down to Femi, and it's 4 1. Confusion. That's not the goalkeeper's fault. That is all on Boxall, who had a good game up until that point. But as the ball comes in, tries to clear it and gets, I think Ed might have got in the back of him to pull him off. But Femi, this time, slices it home. 4-1. Couldn't keep the clean sheet. And that is full time. 4-1 winners. We got our first win of the season and New England were just not at the races today. Nicholson with two. And that's just, only all four goals are right there. Not much else uh, highlight-wise in this game. So New England, we limited them to two shots with one on target, one of them being the goal. So yeah, very good performance. On to the next one.
Just before the next game against Atlanta, we've got to rotate some of the players out because of fitness. So Omsberg, Schuler, Warner, Molino, Finley all coming in for a start. Ibsen's relegated to the bench. Boxall, Ibarra and Heath are all sitting out this game on the reserves just to get the fitness back up. Would love to have kept in the starting lineup the same. But we've got this game a couple of days after. We're going to have to do some rotation and give some other people a chance to shine. It's the first opportunity we can actually get to get this ball forward in the game. Molino from range shoots over. Garza back to Laren Toit. There's too much room there, Martinez. Luckily, Warners. Warners missed it. Chance, but oh, Omsberg with a sliding tackle. Martinez has got under pressure now from Ed. And it's a throw in to us. Gressel. Dinky Tink. Can we get, oh, we got there first. But again, we're losing the ball too easy on the edge of the area. Gressel fires it in. Martinez slides it under Lampson. And I am not surprised that they've took the lead. We've been wasteful at the back. And that is 1 0 Atlanta. Just can't give away the ball that many times on the edge of the area and expect not to get punished. Smart finish, though. Lampson caught off guard. We haven't been able to get Nicholson in the game much in the first half. Slides it through Molino. Molino, Ramirez shoots. Great save from Guzan. Ramirez again. Great block by Garza. Shula looks for Ramirez. Molino, first time shot. Deflected off Parkhurst and we've got the equaliser. Oh, that is lucky. So lucky, but Molino had a go. They say if you you never have a, you're never going to score if you don't have a go, and that's what's been proven right there. Good play, surely. Knocks it down to Ramirez, and he just balloons up off Parker's boot and beats Guzan. And yep, oh Guzan was really caught off guard. Finds himself into the corner. We're back up parity, one-one. Valalva. Double teamed by Warner and Nicholson. Nicholson. Nicholson slides it through to Molino. Cuts back in. Looks for Ramirez. Molino. Oh, we're going to slide it across for Finley for two. It's sweaty. I don't care. We need the three points to start this season off well. And that's just good attacking play. Finley never give up on that right-hand side. Good play by Ramirez and Molino. And a great finish in the end to make it 2-1. Later looking for Finley on the back post. He gets the head on it and he's gone wide. That's going to be a goal kick as well. He really made a hash of that. Finley does well. Garza, that's a great sliding tackle. But is that going to be give them enough time to get up the field? No, it isn't. 2-1 to Minnesota. Good win. Very good win. Come from 1-0 down against a hard, hard Minnesota team. That's the first chance of the game for Molino. In real time, that actually looked a lot higher. Third and final game of the episode, we're going to be going against the Colorado Rapids. Again, a couple of changes. Cronin and Ibsen have come back into the centre of midfield. Boxall retains his place at centre-back. Legendary six minutes. Let's go and win this game as well. And we've got a little player to watch. Sam Nicholson has scored three goals in three matches. Didn't play that well in last time out against Atlanta. Perhaps he was just a little bit tired. He'll return to form today. We'll wait and see. Let's have a look at the Colorado lineup. And of the names here, obviously Tim Howard, the name I know. Stoberg, when I've played against him before, is a cracking defender. I'm playing with what looks like a 5-3-2. Which also could be a, a what you call it, it would also be a 3 5 2. Badger Mason up top. This could be a decent battle. Cuts inside, looks for Molino. Stoberg gets a slight tackle in on Molino, doesn't give him any space at all. Looks like they're happy for us to have the ball here, but as soon as we get closer to the box, we put the press on us. Cronin to Nicholson. Can we get it down the line for Ramirez? He's won the pass. Gives it off. Crony shoots straight at Tim Howard. It's our best move of the game. Molino slides it through. Ramirez on the left. It's the post and Finley can't be there to... No, sorry, Ed's not there to follow it up. Finley was two down here. Get it clear. No, Smith. Phew, luckily Lampson's alert to that. Nicholson looks to bend it. It's a great goal! Nicholson with...
with a great finish. Oh, that is spectacular. He's having a great season. My voice probably cracked halfway through that as well, but damn. Gets a little bit of space. Ramirez just plays it to him, takes one touch to set himself. Uses the defenders as smoke screen into the corner. 1 0 Minnesota. This angle's going to do it justice. As you can see, he starts on angle with the post and just bends in. Great finish from the youngster. Molino. Finley takes one touch. He's going to fire it across Howard. Finley! Yes! 2 0. Oh, we wasted opportunity. We wasted a couple of good chances in the first half. In second half, we've had two half chances. Well, one good chance and then a half chance from Nicholson, and we're two 0 up. Very well played. Ipsum with good defending. Molino to Ramirez. Slides it through. Molino. That's an easy goal. That one. I'm not celebrating too much for that one because that was just too easy. Very well played. Just work the space. And then Molino's, what, six yards out? Was he passes it past Howard? Great finish. Lovely work from Ramirez. Wait for Molino to get past the defender. Yeah, what, eight yards out. Good accomplished finish. And Molino starting to pick up form. Oh, no. Calvo's give away a penalty when it looked like a strong shoulder to shoulder. Look, the ref, what are you giving there, ref? That was a good, strong shoulder to shoulder. But watch it on the replay. Okay, well, okay, fair enough. It was more of a chest bump. But he was still definitely on his shoulder. Right, Mason against Lampson. Oh, you are kidding me. I went the right way, just didn't go low enough early enough. And Lampson unfortunately dives over the ball. Both substitutions in one go here. Nicholson, we have got a man at the back post, it's Calvo, it's four, that short corner routine is starting to work, Ghost, I wanted him to celebrate with Finley, but you know, Calvo gets a goal after giving away the penalty, so I suppose it's good that he got his goal to make room for it, well that's a good ball in from Nicholson, no one really first touch tries to take him away from the defender, good move. To the back post. Finley heads it back across goal. And Dan Laddie can't steer it in. But Finley's header was off target anyway. Smith. Thiessen's got it. This is going to be it. And it is. 4-1 winners against Colorado. That's a, been a great episode for results. And this goal from Nicholson deserves another look. Lovely finish. Lovely finish. And overall, stats say we dominated and we deserve the win. And that is going to do it for this episode. And we're just going to have a quick look at the league table. We are currently sitting on the top spot after four games played. Portland Timbers, the only team to have beat us, are currently sitting in third. Nine points with six plus goal difference, which is an excellent start. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want to see any changes to this series, leave it in the comments down below. I've been Rackers, and I'll see you on the next one. Try.